In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and start using a graphics editor called Penta. Now, Penta is a cross platform uh, graphics editor that means you can install it on Windows, Mac, and on Linux. And my focus in this video is on Linux. Now, if you look here, and I'll provide a link on my website below the video. Here is what Penta looks like when you start the program, except I have the About box in the center where I went to help about and it shows what version Penta is and some more information about it. But now if you want to install it on uh, your Microsoft Windows machine or a Mac OS you can go to the releases and download that matches your system. But I'm not going to go through and uh, show you how to install it on those versions. I'm going to just focus on Linux in this particular video. Now normally I show you how to install programs by using the terminal because you just simply copy and paste and but I have the illustrated instructions here uh, since I don't have the illustrated instructions for installing it by using the deb file the .deb file and you need GW on your system uh, to install it this way uh, if you've got the micro Ubuntu Mate 18.04 uh, it should already be installed but I'm not going to focus on that part of the video as well now to download the executable file just click the link on my website and as you can see it starts the download it's a very small program you can click show in folder and I'll go back to my browser and close this out and close this out and then minimize the browser here's the file that it just downloaded you can double click it very similar like if you're in the Windows environment how you double click an executable file and it comes up now it's gonna say the same version is available on the software channel that means I can install it from the terminal or I go to my Synaptics package manager but I'm just going to hit close and I'm going to install it from here it's the same version so I'm going to hit close now it says on my system all my dependencies are satisfied if you're installing it for the first time and it needs something on your system that's why I like the package installer if you're needing some dependencies it'll have usually a details button that you can click and see what you're missing when you click install package it will go out and get the dependencies first and then it will actually install the program now you can see what it gives you a description here within the package installer of what Penta is it says Penta is an easy to use drawing slash editing program its goal is to provide a simplified experience for casual users so this is not for power users that's trying to replace Photoshop this is for the users that are using like MS Paint and actually it has a little bit more features than MS Paint it's kind of a clone or a similar to paint.net here's some features include you can make adjustments uh, auto level your black and white sepia and other type of adjustments you can do with your pictures you can add motions uh, blur glow warp and other effects you can work with multiple layers and there's unlimited amount of undo so as long as you're working you can keep undoing the button and go back to your original picture and there's a lot of different drawing tools but first let me show you how to install it click the install button and it will prompt you to enter your password let me quickly put my password in and then hit authenticate and it's going to come up and my package installer is a super user it's going to go across the internet and get all the files it needs and start the installation process now it looks like it's complete wait till these buttons change from install to reinstall download and remove the package now it's installed on the system we can now close this out now you can also use that file and go back and uninstall if you want to but once you install the dev file you can delete that file off your system it's no longer needed now you can go up in the applications and it will place Penta in your graphics menu here is my program Penta when you click on to it it will open up on your screen and I have it kind of in the middle not minimized but I have it where it's not fitting full screen because when I made some screenshots on my web page I didn't want them to be very large pictures to save file size now up here is your title bar where it says unsaved image one penta when you actually go to file and save as and give your file a name where it says unsaved image one will become the name at the top so this is your title bar this is your menu bar now if you want to know more about the what each of these sections are within your application you simply go to my website and I have a picture of what it looks like and I have getting started with Penta I show you uh, as I said that the menu bar is here where you have all your menus that you can go through and there's lots of features of Penta and there's lots of pre-installed effects 
that you have and in future videos I will go through and I'll show you some of the effects and how to use them and Penta like paint.net you can actually install some additional add-ins so if you're missing something within Penta you can go to your add-ins go to add-in manager now you can go and click on this and it will show you what's installed or you can go to updates right now there's no updates you can always hit refresh and look but there's no updates right now but you go here if you click these little drop down errors these are additional effects that you can install within your Penta program to increase its capabilities to make your program even more powerful than what it is so uh, these are not currently installed I'm not going to install them now I'll do that in a future video when I and I make an additional sections on the web page so that I can help you understand and start using how to use Penta so that is your menu and when you go to help and go about it will bring up the little dialog box that you saw on my web page that was in the center that shows you version 1.6 and here's some more information about it if you look at the, the DLL files uh, or information about the files that's installed on your system let me close the about box let me go back to the web page as you can see if you want to know more about uh, this side of your panel on within Penta this is your tool palette so when you go here here's your tool palette these are most of the tools that you'll be needing and when you put your mouse pointer over one of the icons it will tell you what it is it will tell you the shortcut key as long as the applications running what shortcut key you can do and it gives you a brief description it says click and drag and draw a rectangular section and hold the shift to constraint to a square so if I clicked on this went within my picture I can select a certain area in my picture and just work within that section this button here and I'm not going to go through all of them these are to move selected pixels so if I had a picture which I don't here I could select it and then click on that and drag it to another location so each of these are your tools that you have within the Penta program now below here when you look down below this is your color palette so if you're creating a picture you can go and change your uh, colors like if I were going the paint mode or pencil mode let's say I choose the pencil I'm going to choose the paintbrush pencil and paintbrush is very similar like it's going to start with the color black if you would choose the red you go to your color palette change the color and as you can see it looks very similar to MS Paint but there's lots more feature don't let the simplicity look of it this is a very powerful program so that's your color palette your layers windows just like GIMP and Photoshop this allows you to work with layers and some people don't like working with layers but it's not very complicated and in future videos I will show you how to work with layers within Penta so over here uh, when you're working with layers this shows you the layers that you have so you can click on the active layer I only have one here but as you start to add layers they will appear here in the window the next screen you have is your images window so the window images that you have open up as you can see here I have an unsaved image you can work with multiple images and this shows you the images that you currently have running on your clipboard now this is your history and remember I said earlier it's uh, unlimited undo so if I wanted to go back I could keep hitting the undo button and notice it keeps moving up and it dims so that way I can go back and say redo and go back to it so I have unlimited amount of undos unlimited amount of redos so that is a nice feature of Pinto so that shows you the what parts and I label it and then you look down here at the numbers and the information and it gives you a brief description of what those particular sections are or parts of the Penta window and I show you how to go through and navigate through the menus uh, of Penta and on the toolbar you know up here I really just told you that this is the toolbar if you're not sure what each of those icons are on my website I describe the names of each or I label each of the names of the toolbar and below I give a description of it so you can use this as a reference until you get used to the toolbar and right here I just show my website some quick edits just as a brief uh, simple things that you can do and a lot of times people like to crop images they like to and when you open up an image you might have a large image and it looks small how you can zoom in and how you can pixelate like if you're a, a teacher and you're taking photographs of students if you don't have consent forms for all your students for students that you don't have consent form you can pixelate their pictures so that you can use your classmates on your school website or if you're taking a picture of your automobile you can select your license tag pixelate it so someone can't get your information across the internet 
Penta also has a built-in screenshot tool and I'll make other videos getting into more details. This is just to give you a little quick snapshot of some of the features. Now I could have went and made a very long web page but this is just how to install it and getting started with it. Getting familiar with the different parts of the Penta program. Like I said I will have some future videos that I'll be putting up and adding to it so that I will help you if you're transitioning from Windows or Mac over into Linux and you're wondering where did the MS Paint program go or if you're used to using programs like Photoshop the basic features of Photoshop but this doesn't have that steep learning curve that Photoshop has or GIMP has. Now this is not a replacement for Photoshop nor is it a replacement for GIMP. This is a replacement for MS Paint but has more features than MS Paint and that's what I want to show you. It's like I said it's almost a clone version of Paint.net. So if you're coming from the Mac or the Windows environment or world and you're using Paint.net you might think well I'm not going to switch because I don't have Paint.net on Linux. Penta is your Paint.net's equivalent. It's almost like uh, Paint.net. It's very similar. Now your your layout is not identical but it's in a form to where you don't have to figure out where things are. So hopefully this is a good start for you if you're deciding to switch over from paint.net to using Penta. And since I said this is installable within Mac and Windows, if you're currently thinking about switching over to Linux, you can go to my website, the link where you can install it on Mac and Windows, and install it on your operating system to see if you like it. And you can kind of compare it to paint.net and learn what those features are. So in the future, if you decide to make the jump to Linux, you can transition very easily. So hopefully this video has been very educational to you and have a great day.